Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on Lorentz series part 2. In the part 1 video, we learned the definition of Lorentz series and we can see the analytic part and principal part etc etc. And then we recall few basics on partial fractions and the identities. Using this, we crack the first example. We split the video into two. The first region we solved in video 1 and in the next two regions we solved in the part 2 video. And in today's session we are going to take a different problem on Lorentz series. Let us go into the problem. Find the Lorentz series expansion for given f of z valid in a region. Now the region is a problem because it is not like mod z less than 2 or mod z greater than 3 or mod z lies between 2 to 4 etc. It's something different. Modulus of z plus 1 lies between 1 to 3. So let us see how to crack this. First take the given function f of z and now we can see the degree of the denominator. The degree of the denominator is 3 and the degree of the numerator is 1. So degree of the denominator is greater than degree of the numerator then we can apply partial fraction or we can say the highest denominator power that is z into z into z z cube so it is 3 then highest numerator power is 1 because 7 is at z power 1 so highest denominator power is going to be greater than highest numerator power then I can apply partial fractions which we see in the basics so now I can split this as a by z plus b by z minus 2 plus c by z plus 1. Next, I have to find this constants a, b, c. For this, I have to take the LCM. The denominator automatically will get cancelled on both sides. So, I have to write numerator alone. So, a into z minus 2 into z plus 1 plus b into z into z plus 1 plus c into z into z minus 2. Now, it is very easy to find the constants a, b, c. Now I have to choose some points. Here I can see z. So if I put z equal to 0, these two terms will get 0. I can find a. In the similar way, if I put z equal to 2, these two terms will become 0. I can find b. And finally, if I substitute z equal to minus 1, the first two terms will become 0. I can find c. So let us do this one by one. Put z equal to 0. In the left hand side, we get minus 2. On the right hand side, we have a into 0 minus 2, 0 plus 1. Therefore, we get a equal to 1. 2, 2 get cancelled. Minus, minus get Cancel. Next, I am going to put z equal to 2. In this situation, these two terms get 0. So, we have 2 7s are 14. 14 minus 2, 12. So, that is equal to b into 2 into 2 plus 1. So, 2 3s are 6. 12 by 6 equal to b. Therefore, my b is 2. Now, substitute z equal to minus 1. These two terms get cancelled and 7 into minus 1 minus 2 that is going to be minus 9 in the left hand side. In the right hand side we have c into minus 1 minus 1 minus 2. So c into minus 1 into minus 3 minus minus get cancelled that is equal to minus 9. So c equal to minus 3. Now we find all the three values. We have a by z plus b by z minus 2 plus c by z plus 1. Substituting this a, b, c values we get are f of z ready. Take this as equation 1. Step 1 gets over. Step 2 we have to write the formulas which we are going to use in the simplification of the problems. Next, step 3. The given region is modulus of z plus 1 lies between 1 to 3. I cannot use this as it is. So what I am going to do? I am going to assume u is equal to z plus 1. Then z is equal to u minus 1. From this I can easily rewrite this. Therefore, substituting the value we get the region modulus of u lies between 1 to 3. Now this is in a simple format. First let us find the region. So this will be treated as like 1 less than mod u and mod u less than 3. Now when I bring this to the denominator 1 by mod u is less than 1. Therefore modulus of 1 by u 
is less than 1 similarly on the other side i can write modulus of u divided by 3 is less than 1 that is modulus of u by 3 less than 1 so this is the two valid regions when i simplify my f of z i have to bring either it should be like 1 minus of 1 by u whole power minus 1 or 1 minus of u by 3 whole power minus 1 because these two are the valid regions now from equation 1 we have this f of z i want to convert this everything in terms of u then only i can able to solve because we have this two regions so z is u minus 1 i can write this as 1 by u minus 1 plus 2 times u minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 by u minus 1 Plus one. So I can express f of z in terms of u in the right hand side. I substitute z equal to u minus one. Then the second term two divided by u minus one minus two minus three divided by u minus one plus one. Simplifying this, we get. 1 by u minus 1 plus 2 by u minus 3 minus 3 by u. Now we have to bother about the region, valid region. Either I should make 1 by u or I should make u by 3. So I can take this u in common. So we get 1 minus 1 by u. Here we have u by 3. So I have to take three outside. We get u by three minus one. Third term, it does not have any plus minus, so I keep as it is. Next, as I said earlier, we have to simplify this. I don't need u by three minus one, so I'll take one minus in common. So we get minus two by three, one minus u by three minus three by u. You can see the typed version. Now taking this to numerator, we have. 1 by u into 1 minus 1 by u whole power minus 1 minus 2 by 3 1 minus u by 3 whole power minus 1 minus 3 by u. Now recall the step two. Now we can apply this formula. That is 1 by u 1 plus 1 by u plus 1 by u whole square etc. Then minus 2 by 3. 1 plus u by 3 plus u by 3 whole square plus dot 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 minus 3 by u and we know that this can be expressed in terms of a series 1 by u summation n equal to 0 to infinity this term does not contain any negative so i can directly write 1 by u whole power n Minus two by three summation n equal to zero to infinity. We have u by three because here also we have only positive terms. Therefore, we write this as u by three whole power n minus three by u. But u is not our concern. I want the answer in terms of z. We know u is equal to z plus one. Just substitute in the above equation, so we get one by z plus one summation. n equal to zero to infinity one by z plus one whole power n. Similarly, we get the second term and the third term. Even if you want to simplify, you can write this as summation n equal to zero to infinity one by z plus one whole power n plus one minus two by three summation n equal to zero to infinity z plus one by three whole power n minus three by z plus one. and very important even we found the region at the beginning we have to write the valid region we have two things modulus of 1 by u less than 1 modulus of u by 3 less than 1 therefore i can substitute the value of u we get 1 by z plus 1 less than 1 and modulus of z plus 1 by 3 less than 1 this is my valid region Hope you understand, students. This problem is little different. Then we learn how to tackle this and get the solution. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.